old versus new that isn't Transformers? What? This is insane. Yeah, old versus new isn't just a Transformers series. It actually is just a series about all kinds of toys. And I've been waiting to do this one for a long, long time. This is the old versus new on the original 2007 to 2008. I think it was more like 2007. 30th anniversary collection Darth Revan versus the new 2023 Vintage Collection Darth Revan. Both of these figures have a pretty rich history. It's pretty rich. So essentially, the original 2000, uh, 2007 one, pretty hard to get. Not very easy to get. My brother and I managed to get it growing up. Uh, so this is a childhood toy. I actually had Darth Malak, and my brother had Darth Revan. We played with him pretty intensely. Uh, you can see Revan actually has some nicks in his hood. Uh, and actually, my brother let me have this old Darth Revan. He gave it to me. But my brother said, if Hasbro ever makes a new one, you need to give the old one back to me. And I agreed to that. So now that we have the new vintage collection Darth Revan, uh, I will, after this video, be giving this back to my brother. It is his. Uh, but I want to do this video just kind of showing off, number one, how not very good the old one was. And number two, just showing off the difference between a 2007 figure and a 2023 figure, uh, because why not? You know, I don't really do a lot of TVC old versus news, and I want to do this. Uh, one interesting thing about the new Vintage Collection one is that Vintage Collection Darth Revan uh, is not a new concept. They were actually going to do it a few years ago, and it was actually going to be, I am not joking, just a straight-up re-release of this 2007 one with all of the limited articulation and all of the weird sculpt and everything. And a lot of people were like, huh? And Hasbro was still going to do it, but Hasbro had a change of management in the Star Wars division. And when that happened, uh, the idea of a vintage collection Darth Revan just kind of fell to the wayside. They, they seriously just forgot they were going to do that. And when fans kind of reminded Hasbro, hey, where's our TVC Darth Revan? They were like, oh, sorry, um, you know what, we'll do that, but we'll actually make a new one for you. <laughs> so thank goodness they actually gave us a new Revan because, oh boy, did we need it. Uh, for more reasons than just one. Absolutely for more than just one reason. So one thing I do want to do uh, is point out the fact that, no, the original one is not that much taller than the old one. He just doesn't stand. Uh, so I have him on this display base. And he's actually been on this base for so long, he actually has this little imprint of his foot on the base, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, he just doesn't stand without a base. He just absolutely will not stand without the base. And that's just one of the aspects of this figure. And you can see uh, he actually has a broken peg inside one of the feet too, because I think my brother had him on a base for a while and it must have broken off in the foot. <laughs> so this figure has seen a lot of play. I'm pretty sure that's the right lightsaber for him. I'm pretty sure that's the lightsaber he came with. Uh, that's the lightsaber I've always had for him, so that's the lightsaber I'm going to show. Uh, so yeah, it's, you know, pretty old. Uh, one of the weirdest things about it for me, number one, the cape and the hood are all one big attached piece. And number two, when you remove it, you can see, number one, this helmet is not accurate to Darth Revan whatsoever. I don't know where they got this helmet. No idea whatsoever. If you see any moisture, I did actually wash it off before I started filming, so please please forgive it if you see any moisture. Uh, it's just water from like 20 minutes ago. Uh, but you can see, too, his ears are exposed and he's bald. Huh? Huh? Like, number one, it looks nothing like him. That is such an odd head sculpt. Absolutely weird. And even as a kid, I was like... That's not what he looks like. Uh, so yeah, we can just get the hood back on. And the TVC re-release they were planning still uses the same inaccurate head sculpt. Uh, the rest of his articulation, he's got a ball joint. He's got ball hinge at the shoulders, ball hinge at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, swivel at the waist. And get this. Get this. Get this. Swivel hips. And that's it. Absolutely nothing else in the leg. The leg is all one big static piece. No, no knees, no ankles, nothing. Certain 30th anniversary collection figures uh, did not have good leg articulation. And unfortunately, Darth Revan was one of them. <laughs> and, you know, he's got this big fab or this big plastic cape, and, like, it kind of makes sense because of this big cape. But also, he can't stand because he doesn't have the right leg articulation. 
Like, he really cannot stand. It is, it's so funny, too, that this figure is so not that good. When uh, he is so desirable, still to this day, like, tons of collectors are still after the Starth Revan. Uh, even though, thankfully, we do have a new one. But you can see, like, the sculpt is still cool on it. It's still a cool-looking figure. I mean, it's Starth Revan. How can it not be cool? But, yeah, it's definitely a good thing that we have this new Vintage Collection one. So what did they improve? So number one, he actually has his two lightsabers, which is really cool. <laughs> he actually does have his two lightsabers. Uh, and number two, the cape and the hood are separate pieces. The hood is still plastic, but because it's separate, you can actually kind of turn his head a bit better now. Still looks kind of iffy depending on the pose. Still looks a little big in the shoulders, but still looking nice. One thing, because we can remove that, look, he actually has the helmet. It's accurate. That's actually Darth Revan's helmet. What do you know? No weird ears showing, nothing like that. That's that's just Darth Revan for you. One interesting thing, if you pop the head off, you can just slip the cape off as well. The cape is actually held on like Lego minifig style, <laughs> which is very funny. Uh, so yeah, you can take the cape off if you want, but me personally, I have no plans to. I'm not going to fuss with that, so the cape's just going to go back on. I can see the detail is a lot nicer, in my opinion. Like, a lot of the rivets look very nicely painted. The detail's very crisp. I love kind of the coppery look as well. Uh, he does have a lot more soft goods, so he's got the soft goods cape, as well as the soft goods around the legs. And, obviously, he's going to have actual leg articulation this time around, which is fantastic. Uh, yeah, it's just really, really nice, man. Uh, I did actually want to show off the card back for him as well. Uh, great. Absolutely great. Uh, if I see it in a store, I might pick it up and keep one carded. I honestly might. I probably just should have pre-ordered two of them. But I'm not I'm not that crazy for having things carded. But still, that is a really nice image. I love the red. I love the Knights of the Old Republic logo. And very interestingly, check this out. They have gone back to the original 2010 style of TVC card back. Why? I have no idea. I have no idea why they went back to this. But it's interesting that they did, because uh, now he has a bio. Revan left Coruscant, a hero of the Jedi Civil War, and returned a traitorous Sith disciple bent on destroying the Republic. Like, it actually has a character bio. Very interesting. I, I have no idea why they decided to do this. Oddly enough, he's VC-301. You would expect Darth Revan of all characters to be VC-300, but no, they gave that to Hera Syndulla for whatever reason. So yeah, uh, I don't know why they stripped uh, the title of being the 300th TVC figure from Darth Revan, but I, I don't know. I don't make the numbers. But yeah, I really do like this new Darth Revan. The articulation is just really nice. It feels really solid. You can see he does have like the ball joints up in the hips now. He's got the knees. He's got the thighs. He's got the ankle tilt. I do test this with all TVC figures now. How does it fare on a display base? It seems a little shallow. I can tell the sculpt is kind of shallow in that peg hole. It's fitting, but it's not deep enough. So you can see it'll fit, but not very well. So unfortunately, it seems like they're still struggling with these peg holes. But other than that, honestly, I don't even think he really needs it that bad because he poses really well. I haven't really had any issues getting him to stand. He does have these really nice uh, ankle rockers. Or not ankle rockers. Wrist hinges. Uh, he does have nice ankle rockers, but his wrist hinges as well also allow him for some really dynamic poses. Like, just compare this new Revan and its capabilities to the old one. It is literally night and day. Knights of the Old Republic. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Uh, but yeah, I really do like it. Uh, it's it's really kind of cool seeing the evolution of these figures after all these years. I do have to point out the price difference. Because back in like the 30th anniversary collection days, these things were like, what, 8 bucks each? And now they're nearly $10 more. So that is crazy. But if you luck out and find it at Target... Target still sells TVC for the most part for like 13 bucks. So if you find it at Target, hooray, you got it for only, for only 13 bucks. But me, I pre ordered it. I was not going to miss out on Darth Revan, so I paid the whole 17. It's Darth Revan. I had to. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Not really much else to talk about, but I did want to make this a dedicated video. I didn't want to review Revan in like a, a wave review because it's Darth Revan. I really wanted to do this comparison. I really did. The old one 
it's nostalgic, it's sentimental. It's still a really cool figure, but it has so many issues and flaws. If you want a Darth Revan in your life, get the new TVC one. That's that's all I'm going to say. It does remind me a lot of the Black Series Revan that came out a while ago. I don't own that anymore. I sold off the majority of my Black Series, but it was still a pretty cool figure. Alrighty, guys, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Special shout out to channel members as always. Thank you all so much for the continued support. Have a great one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.